Hi, my name is Lou Akins. I own a company, Ocean Quest Pools by Lou Akins in Belton, Texas. We're located about 50 miles north of Austin. The project we're showing you today is kind of different because uh, it's a vanishing edge pool, but when most people think of a vanishing edge pool, they think about the water disappearing into the horizon or into water in the background. This particular lot went up five feet from the existing patio and the client desired a vanishing edge pool but with the water feature coming back toward the house. So we did a couple of things here. There were a few things that limited our design. The first is the tree that's immediately in front of the catch pool. That tree was uh, wanted to be kept by the client and consequently that established the elevation of the catch pool. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't elevate the catch pool any higher because we would have uh, had to stack dirt up on the side of the tree, which would have killed it, and consequently we couldn't have done any lower as well because of the same reason. In order to make the planter look correct, they'd have had to scrape dirt off the roots. So in order to get to that mid-level of the catch pool, we created steps. We flanked them with planters on each side of the pool, and the pool is located 18 inches above the catch pool. So you come up these steps here in order to get to the entry level of the pool where the steps and the, and the uh, swim outs are located. The water from the negative edge is drawn through its system and then discharged through three shears on the raised portion in the back part of the pool. By doing that, we don't require a vacuum breaker and we don't have any equalization risk. Because this, the downside of this pool wanted to be a attractive water feature from the lower level patio, what we did is we took a material that matches the coping and the wall caps, which is a honed and filled travertine bullnose, and we cut pieces of that travertine and placed them on the weir wall, which allows the water to sheet between them and create all the different, the different sheets. Now part of the rationale for this was to create extra noise because there's a street immediately behind this property and the traffic noise was a concern for the homeowner and so consequently we wanted to create as much noise with, without big waterfalls or fountains which the client did not want. So we utilized this method in order to do that. The challenge here is really the, the grade change, setting the elevation properly for drainage, and then making sure you, you plan all the walls and all the steps so that the job flows properly. And saving this tree was critical. So with, with those things in mind, this is what we created, and the homeowners tickled to death with it. As a matter of fact, this pool uh, was recently in, in our local parade of homes. So it was a fun project. The, the tile on the face that you see is a glass tile, and it, it just creates a very, very nice image with those, with those slotted spillways. <laughs>